In this series of videos, we'll look at how you can make an animated Wi-Fi controlled Halloween doll. The doll uses a Wemos D1 Mini microcontroller, programmed using an Arduino sketch. It uses Wi-Fi so it can be controlled from almost anywhere. In this video, I will describe how to put together the moving eyes and head. To begin with the eyes, gather up the parts required. One SG90 servo, five 3D printed parts, two eyes, and various length M2 screws. You will also need an LED. Links to all the parts are in the description. Start by attaching the two brackets to the top and bottom of the servo. Ensure they are orientated with the thinnest part of the bracket at the top. Secure using an appropriate length M2 screw. Thread an M2 screw through each side of the bracket and through the eye holder. Ensure that each eye can rotate freely on its axis. Next, screw two M2 screws through each end of the long arm. Place this with the screws through the back of the eye holders, like so. Now retrieve the short single arm supplied with the SG90 servo. Place an M2 screw through the end of the arm, sufficient that it can also pass through the longer arm. Place this on top of the servo and ensure that it is able to swing the arm and move both eye holders. Now secure in place with a screw. Once again, check that everything moves freely. Attach the eyes using hot glue. Make sure that the glue does not inhibit the mechanism from moving. Check that the mechanism functions properly with the eyes now glued in place. Next take the LED. We will solder three wires to it. Use a holder to secure the LED in place. Cut a length of wire and strip the ends. Pre-solder each of the terminals on the LED. Similarly, put a small amount of solder on the ends of each wire. Solder in place on the LED. Make sure that the wires are not in contact with one another. Place the LED at the center of the eye mechanism. Secure in place using hot glue. You may also want to secure the wires in place with hot glue to ensure that they don't come loose. Now to attach the eyes to the doll. First remove the head. Now using a Dremel or similar tool, make an access port at the back of the head so that we can insert the eye mechanism through it.
Remove the existing eyes using a screwdriver or blunt object. Clear any excess plastic from the inside of the eyes so that the new eyes can move freely in the mechanism. You should now be ready to insert the animated eyes. This can be done by placing the servo inside and adjusting accordingly. Although this can be a bit fiddly so I've created this 3D printed part which sits inside and allows the servo to be slotted directly into it. Position the part inside the doll's head. Feed the wires through the bottom of the head and adjust until the eyes sit just right. Now fill the inside of the head with hot glue to hold the 3D printed part and the servo all in place. Make small adjustments as you go if necessary. And that's it, the completed eye mechanism should now be held firmly in place inside the head. Now on to attaching the head. Retrieve the second servo and the double sided plastic arm that came with it. Attach this to the servo and locate the maximum and minimum extents of its rotation. Now centre and screw in place. Position this on the underside of the doll's head. Align like so and screw in place. Check that the servo moves freely and that the doll's head can turn to the left and to the right. I use another 3D printed part within the body to hold the servo in place. Once happy with the positioning, secure in place with hot glue. Plenty of it. Now feed the servo wire through the holder and out of the back of the doll. Place the servo within the holder and secure in place with more hot glue. And that completes our build. Our doll is now ready to be hooked up to the microcontroller, details of which will be available in a separate video.